This episode of Long Haul is sponsored by Skillshare. Stay tuned for a special offer. Welcome to another episode of our ongoing Incident Summary series. While it's the first video of its kind on our Long Haul channel, earlier episodes can be found on our playlist called Simple Flying Summarizes. We should note that due to the time it takes to prepare these videos, we may not cover the most recent incidents. If anything major has happened in recent days, we'll be sure to cover it in the next installment of this series. With that out of the way, let's take a look at notable commercial aviation incidents and accidents that happened over the past month. First up, on September 20th, a Kenya Airways 787 lost communications with air traffic control while in German airspace. As a result, the German Air Force scrambled two Eurofighter jets to intercept the Boeing 787-8. Residents from Landshut all the way to Frankfurt, Maine in Germany heard the sonic booms created by the fighter jets traveling faster than the speed of sound. A similar incident took place on October 22nd in German airspace when a Jazeera Airways A320neo was flying from Kuwait to London. Again, two Eurofighters were sent up to re-establish communications with the aircraft. Given the location where communication loss was experienced, many have speculated that the crews of the aircraft failed to switch frequencies when moving from Austrian airspace to German airspace. Also in late September, a Honolulu-bound Hawaiian Airlines Airbus A330 had to divert to Midway Atoll in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The flight had originated in Seoul, South Korea, before a low oil pressure indication forced it to divert. An airline spokesperson explained to Simple Flying that Midway Atoll is, quote, a designated diversion airport for extended range twin engine operational performance standards, or ETOPS. The carrier added that it decided to divert there out of an abundance of caution. Then, a few days later, an escaped tortoise at Tokyo's Narita Airport forced the closure of a runway for 12 minutes. As a result, five flights were delayed as workers rescued the animal and returned it to the airport's retention pond nearby. Coincidentally, one of the five aircraft delayed in the incident was an ANA Airbus A380 with its special turtle livery. On September 29th, police in Miami detained an American Airlines passenger after the person left an aircraft through its overwing exit. Identified as Christian Segura, the 33-year-old opened the emergency exit after the 737 MAX had arrived from Cali, Colombia. The man walked along the wing of the aircraft as it arrived on stand. Security officials took Segura into custody after he jumped off the wing. The next day, a Kalita Boeing 747 flying from Leipzig, Germany, touched down at East Midlands Airport and suffered an engine compressor stall. As a result, the aircraft's number three engine emitted a loud bang and a momentary burst of flame from the back, something that was caught by local plane spotter Tony Johnson. Despite the dramatic photograph, the aircraft and its occupants were unharmed by the event. Then, on October 5th, an Air India 787 flying from London to Kochi was diverted due to a woman on board giving birth mid-flight. This required the crew to divert to Frankfurt for essential medical care. Luckily, the flight had no shortage of experienced professionals, with two doctors and four nurses all joining the crew to complete a successful delivery. On October 9th, American Eagle Flight AA4817 from Indianapolis to LaGuardia was evacuated after landing due to a security incident. Regarding this event, American Airlines stated that the evacuation was a, quote, response to passenger behavior near the end of the flight. The carrier added that law enforcement and first responders met the aircraft and the passenger involved in the incident was taken into custody. The days between October 9th and 12th would be a major mess for Southwest Airlines, which publicly apologized for the recent horror run of cancellations and delays. The disastrous weekend saw the airline cancel hundreds of services across four days. In fact, Southwest ended up canceling 28% of its flights, attributing it to ATC issues and bad weather. Compounding the problem were displaced crews and aircraft from weather issues in the early days of the disruption. About 10 days later, Sky West would be in an equally disastrous situation. The U.S. regional airline cancelled around 700 flights on October 21st due to internal computer issues. 
Although issues were solved during the day, disruption and cancellations continued into the next day. If you have a passion or keen interest in aviation and hope to find a career in the field, you can learn more about the industry with some classes available on Skillshare. For example, Louis Foreman has two classes on aerospace engineering, while Howard Forder can teach you how to fly an airplane with his flight simulator-based class. Then, of course, there's Kudzi Chikohara's class on how to become a pilot, which goes through more general steps on how to fly for an airline. These and many others are available, providing access to an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journeys and future goals. Choose from thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, from design and illustration to photography and video, but of course, aviation. So, whether you want to get into airline maintenance or one day fly for an airline, you'll find it all on Skillshare. The first 1,000 of our subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare, so you can start exploring your creativity today. On October 11th, Orion Air 737-800 leaving Tenerife in Spain on its way to Brussels Charleroi had to return to its departure airport after the pilots declared an emergency. Upon inspection, it turned out that both engines had ingested ash from the ongoing La Palma volcano eruption. A few days later, on October 14th, a brand new 737 MAX 8 was getting ready to head to Brussels to join TUI Fly when it unexpectedly returned to Boeing Field, Seattle soon after departure due to technical issues. The crew on board informed Seattle ATC of a flight control problem and eventually returned to Boeing Field. The aircraft, registered Oscar Oscar Tango Mike Zulu, has since reached Brussels and has flown several times with its new operator Tui Fly in Belgium. The next day, on October 15th, a Tokyo-bound Japan Airlines Boeing 777 had to return to Los Angeles after departure following an engine malfunction. The incident occurred as the aircraft was climbing out of LAX and resulted in flames being emitted from the jet's right-hand turbofan. Circling to the southwest of the city near Santa Catalina Island, the flight eventually dumped enough fuel to be at a suitable landing weight. It touched back down safely at LAX after 45 eventful minutes in the air. A Japan Airlines spokesperson told Simple Flying that it had sent inspectors and technical personnel from Japan to the site for investigation. The same day, on the other side of the world, four main tyres of a Fly Egypt 737-700 burst into flames when landing in Klajnapoka, Romania. The twin jet was flying in from Hergada, Egypt, when the incident happened. Romania's aviation authority stated that the fire was caused by a hard landing and that the fire was promptly extinguished. Then, the day after that, on October 16th, another burst tyre incident took place. Washington, D.C.'s Regan National Airport had its air traffic disrupted after an American Eagle Embraer E-175 suffered burst tires on landing. As emergency services responded, the airport was forced to shut down some runways for a few hours to handle the emergency. 69 people on board exited the aircraft in the middle of the runway and were taken to the terminal by bus. On October 19th, a McDonnell Douglas MD-87 crashed after overrunning a runway at Houston Executive Airport. The airplane reportedly rejected takeoff and exited the runway. The MD-87 proceeded to crash through the perimeter fence, coming to rest some 300 meters beyond the airfield, at which point the aircraft burst into flames. A significant emergency response was mobilized with multiple fire crews spotted dousing the aircraft with water and fire retardant foam. Reports suggest 21 people were on board and that all escaped with their lives. A few days later, a Ryanair 737 suffered major damage to its lower belly after a tug wedged into the aircraft at a maintenance bay at London Stansted Airport. Although no injuries were reported, the incident left a hole in the fuselage. The tug was removed from the fuselage the following day, requiring the use of a crane. Then, around the same time, a Lufthansa Airbus A321neo found itself in a mid-air incident with a bird. Flight LH1154 from Frankfurt to Heraklion 
was on approach when the aircraft nose hit a bird, causing damage to the front. The flight landed safely, but the aircraft was grounded and unable to fly the return service due to the incident. Well, we hope that you've enjoyed another news summary of major incidents and accidents. Just a reminder that with all of our videos, there's a more detailed corresponding article on simpleflying.com. Check out the links in the description to learn more. And as always, share your thoughts on this video and any of the topics we covered by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.